It's like a human nightmare. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 1, Episode 14, Nightmare. So that comment on the Bloody Mary episode being over two years old, that really got to me. So I am powering through the first season now and have moved right on to Nightmare. So Nightmare was the one that kind of standed on a pinnacle again. This was more so like home for me. I remember Nightmare being a very important episode because it introduced Max. And by that d definition, it introduced that there were other people like Sam who had psychic abilities. Their mother w died in a mysterious circumstance, being pinned to the ceiling and on fire. This yellow eyes figure has a plan of some sort and there is some connection and there's possibly others like Sam. Something I noticed though, is that the foreshadowing and the story laying out is very much like the second season of Buffy. It's the only season of that show that I've ever watched in full, but I do remember being kind of confused. Wow, that load isn't on. I remember being kind of weirded out with the idea of certain story elements being set up and then just forgotten about kind of not even given enough context to them. They're just like, oh, here's a little drop, and then we're just gonna walk away and not give you anything else. That happened with the floppy disk in particular in the second season. So the idea that there's other people like Max and Sam, they literally just said that he had the exact same experience with his mother as Sam did, and that was it. And that's all that this episode entails. It's still a decent episode, don't get me wrong. The acting by Max, who's actually, uh, this boy is from the Comax Valley. He's an island boy. He actually does a pretty good job in this role. He's really able to portray the pain, the emotional guilt, the fear that has been embodied in him, and is a sensible, uh, sort of reason to why he is doing what he's doing. He's been pushed here through years and years and years of abuse and negative treatment. And the mother, being who she is, is just as much of a culprit as a person who was attacking him. There's a few things that don't age well in this episode. For one, his mother, who's acted by that woman who is in Sabrina the Teenage Witch, her acting's horrible in this. She is phoning in everything throughout this entire episode. So she takes you out a little bit. The best part of the episode for sure is when Sam and Max have their conversation. Something that Sam brings up later on in the episode is this what could have been to him. This is what could have happened had their father not become obsessed with demon hunting and actually had turned into more of a destructive meme. So I did like that kind of realization for Sam. I did like the encompassing idea that maybe their life isn't as bad as he thinks it is. It could be worse. I also like the little tidbits with Dean, how Dean seems kind of calm with the whole idea, but at the end when he gives his brother that look, you know that there is some fear in him. You know that there is some worry in him. But aside from these moments that you really have to grasp for, the episode itself doesn't really have much to it aside from Max. And it's interesting to say that considering it's directed by Phil Scary as well as written by Sarah Gamble and someone else. So I thought that was interesting how this episode, again, it's it's a little bit like home. It doesn't stand up as high as I remember it being. Again, this season review is definitely giving us some surprises. So in the end, I am going to give Nightmare a four out of seven. It's a very standard episode. Again, the best part is Max. It's more so the idea that what he sets up is really cool once it is realized. But just as itself, if you were just to kind of see this episode as it is, it's not as woo as at least I remember it being. Okay, so the last episode I asked you guys what your personal thoughts were about Nightmare, and here are the comments. We got another one here from O-N-I-F-C Stew123. The boys show up as priests and deal with a mentally unstable male Matilda. That's actually a pretty good way to say it. It's a very solid episode and it broadens the scope of what Sam's powers would eventually mean. We got another one here from Megan B, where she just talks about a scene from Nightmare that always sticks out. It's the conversation between Sam and Dean where I said, well, I'll tell you one thing, we're lucky we had Dad. Well, I never thought you I'd hear you say that. Well, we could have gone a whole other way after Mom. A little more tequila, a little less demon hunting, and we could have had Max's childhood. All things considered, we turned out okay, thanks to him. 
all things considered. And that's a good point, actually. That, like, again, that is a pretty standout scene. Again, like I said in this review, I, I'm not saying that the episode itself is bad. It doesn't stand up as much to me in terms of its story element, but definitely that scene is a very standout one from that episode. And we got one more from David D. Simone. Uh, I rewatched some scenes from Nightmare. I gotta say that the biggest positives are the story is and how it connects to one of the main narratives, Sam's psychic powers and yellow eyes, as well as the actor who portrays a psychic kid doing a very good job. However, I think Jared's acting was kind of iffy at times, mostly during conversations and especially in the scene where he tells Dean about Roger Miller's death premonition now admittedly yeah the, the the show had taken a bit of a jump they went from sam really not being able to understand his psychic powers to all of a sudden having a bunch of them all at once like really jump the scale up here so i do admit yes that does stand out a little bit in terms of kind of odd stuff but yeah the kid definitely did a really good uh, job in this episode also i got a lot of comments from you guys about the supernatural anime to be honest i've never thought about doing it so maybe maybe i might give it a watch once uh, the season ends or maybe leading towards it but you know whatever we'll we'll see what happens and the next episode is the benders this is one i've been very much looking forward to seeing uh, again mainly because every time there's a human threat in this show, I always think of either the Benders or Gordon. So anything that's come afterwards, I've always had a comparison to them. It's one of the reasons why I didn't like the British Man of Letters storyline so much, because they were just about as much of a threat as the Benders were. The Benders were hillbillies. So give me your guys' thoughts, comments, and what you remember about the episode, what you liked about the episode, what you didn't, and give me all those about the Benders, and I'll make sure to put those in the comments that I talk about in the next episode review. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. If you guys want to watch any more of my Supernatural reviews, I'm going to leave a playlist with all the episode reviews, both new and old, at the end of this video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural, or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.